Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Hashem Ali Khan. So far, four units I have completed in the subject of accounting for management. And this is the last unit I am going to finish and that marks the end of the subject accounting for management. So in this uh, unit, I am going to cover up the topics like uh, meaning. First of all, the uh, heading of this uh, unit is introduction to financial accounting. The basic fundamentals of financial accounting. What is the meaning, definition and scope of financial accounting? I am going to explain in this video. The next video, accounting concepts and conventions and their implication on accounting system. What are accounting concepts? What are accounting conventions? And what is the implication of these concepts and conventions on accounting system? Then thirdly, double entry system of bookkeeping. Then accounting process, types of accounts, primary and secondary records. Then preparation of journal, ledger, posting and balancing of accounts. Preparation of trial balance, accounting equation, accounting standards. Rational and growing importance of accounting standard in the global accounting environment and international financial reporting standards, IFRS. So these are all the topics we have to cover up in this unit, in this unit number one. Now, before explaining further, take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board, then I'll explain all the points in detail. Now, first of all, I'm going to explain you about the meaning, definition, scope, nature, importance, advantages and disadvantages of financial accounting. Financial accounting is the oldest accounting. Later on, different branches of accounting were developed. But the first uh, method of accounting is financial accounting. The so accounting is the language of business. A business will communicate its financial information with the help of accounting to outside parties. Then what is the result of operations of the business? What is the financial health of the business that will be communicated with the help of accounting? Just like every language will have their own rules and regulations, the accounting will also have some rules and regulations. So. Financial accounting, meaning of accounting, accounting is termed as the language of business because a business will communicate with outsiders with the help of accounting and which is used to communicate the information or the result of operations to several interested parties like proprietors, investors, creators, government, etc. These people are called stakeholders like employees, investors, government, suppliers, bankers, investors, all these are the stakeholders. They are having a stake in the business. So they are interested in getting the information, financial information of the business. So accounting will communicate with all these parties, will, or with all these parties. So communication will be done through accounting. Now definition. Different authorities have given different definitions to the term accounting, but the most important and worldwide accepted definition is AICPA. According to American Institute of Certified Public Accountants, this AICPA, this body has given a renowned, a well accepted definition of the term accounting. What it says, accounting is an art of recording, classifying and summarizing. Focus on the words. It is an art. That means by continuous practicing this art, a person will become perfect in accounting. So accounting is an art of recording, classifying and summarizing. So these are the activities or functions of accounting. It has to record the transactions. It has to classify the transactions. It has to summarize the transactions in a significant manner and in terms of money transaction. That means this uh, recording, classifying, summarizing should be done in a significant manner and in terms of money. In terms of money transactions and events, which are in part 
at least of a financial character these events or transactions must be at least a part of financial of uh, financial character and interpreting the results thereof so not only recording classifying summarizing but also it uh, includes interpretation analyzing and interpretation and the results thereof so this is the complete definition given by AICPA so accounting is an art of recording classifying summarizing in a significant manner and in terms of money transactions and events which are in part at least of financial character and interpreting the results thereof this is the definition another renowned definition was given by AAA American Accounting Association another body and this AAA has given the definition as accounting is identified as the process of identifying measuring and communicating economic information first of all identify which are the events and which are the transactions after identifying measuring measure the transactions and communicating economic information to the permit informed judgments that means the economic information should be provided for informed judgments because a number of parties has to take the decisions they have to make the judgments so this accounting will provide the information and uh, decisions by users of the information why this accounting is required the accounting is required so that different parties can be able to take the decisions so by using the accounting information all the outsiders and the parties can be able to take the decisions so this is the meaning and definition of accounting next is nature of financial accounting what is the characteristic features or nature of financial accounting what does it deals first of all it's a process in which all financial transactions of business are recorded first of all accounting is concerned with recording of all financial transactions systematically in the books of accounts every business will conduct a number of transactions like business will purchase the goods business will sell the goods business will pay the salaries paying the rent receiving the cash paying the cash all these are called business transactions and these transactions are systematically recorded by accounting so it's a process it is not a one-time affair accounting will be continued throughout the life of the business as long as the business exists accounting will exist accounting is a process continuous process of recording all the financial transactions secondly it deals with preparation of summary report and analysis of all financial transactions not only recording but and also preparing the summaries summaries means making the reports taking the totals how much is the total receipt how much is the total payment how much expenditure how much income all these things should be summarized and analyzed remember recording is not the ultimate aim it is just the first step in accounting the first step in accounting is recording after recording we have to classify we have to summarize we have to analyze we have to interpret and communicate so second feature is regarding making the summaries and making the analysis and it's a process of understanding the outcome of the financial transactions by using the accounting we can be able to find out the outcome of all the transactions after conducting so many transactions what is the result whether the business has earned profit or incurred loss what is the end result of this activities conducting so many transactions that we can be able to know from accounting fourth it is considered as language of business as it helps to connect with parties who are related with accounting statements see here one of the nature of accounting is it's a language the business will communicate with outside world with the help of accounting 
a number of parties have to take the decisions by seeing the accounting so it's a method of communication accounting is a mode of communication through which the business will give the information to number of parties so these four points shows the nature of the business next comes scope or functions of the business what are the activities involved in accounting what is the scope and function of accounting the first activity of accounting is recording writing the transaction systematically a business will conduct so many transactions every day the transaction means the exchange of money or money's worth like purchasing the goods selling the goods paying expenses receiving the money all these are the transactions and every transaction must be recorded so recording is the first activity of the business the second one is classifying after recording all the transactions we have to put similar transactions at one place that means grouping of the like transactions so all the similar transactions will be put at one place for example every month salary is paid so in one year 12 times salaries are paid so put all salary paid at one place put all sales at one place all purchases at one place so in this way we can be able to classify or group the like items at one place that is called classifying first step is recording the transaction second step is classifying then third step is summarizing so this recording and classifying will be continued throughout the year at the end of the year we have to find out the summaries summaries means finding out the total of every account and putting all the totals in a statement called trial balance to check the arithmetical accuracy of the books of accounts so this is called summarizing finding out the total of all the accounts preparing the trial balance preparing the income statement preparing the statement of financial position these are called summaries so recording classifying summarizing then analyzing and interpreting remember only recording classifying summarizing is not the end of accounting after summarizing we have to analyze we have to analyze the financial information by preparing different statements like comparative statement common size statement ratio analysis trend analysis so many techniques we have to apply for analyzing the financial information and after analyzing we have to give the interpretation that is conclusion what is the ultimate result of all these transactions so this stage is called analysis analysis and interpretation last one communicating that means whatever information recorded classified summarized analyzed interpretation is given now this has to be passed on to different parties who are interested in the business activities like after making all the analysis after making the financial statements these financial statements must be given to the management so that management can be able to take the decisions similarly these financial statements will be given to the investors so that investors can be able to take the decision whether to invest the money or not to invest the financial statement will be supplied to the bankers so the bankers can be able to take the decision whether to extend the loan or not similarly financial statements will be given communicated to the supplier of material so that the suppliers can be able to know whether it is better to supply the goods to this company or not so this is called communication passing on the information so these this shows the scope of accounting or the functions of accounting it includes recording classifying summarizing analyzing interpreting and lastly communicating that's it. now importance of financial accounting financial accounting is very very important for every business as the business grows it will be highly difficult to control the business 
So accounting will help the management in controlling the decisions, in taking right decisions, right? Now, what, is the, what are the points which shows the importance of accounting? First, the knowledge of accounting is important for everyone to make financial decisions. Everyone must know something about accounting. What is accounting? What does it mean? Why it is kept? Because the people have to take the decision. Example, an engineer wants to make the investment in a company. A doctor wants to make the investment in a company. So even their profession is different. But still, when they are investing the money, they must know something about the company. What is the performance of the company? What is the worth of the company? So every person must have some knowledge about accounting because we have to take a number of financial decisions. Secondly, in the present dynamic environment, it is necessary for every person to have basic knowledge of accounting. Nowadays, due to this dynamic environment, dynamic environment means ever changing. The technology is changing. Government laws are changing. Competition is increasing. In such a dynamic environment, a person can survive only when he is having some basic knowledge about accounting because we conduct so many financial decisions and financial decisions will be taken on the basis of accounting. Next one, accounting information facilitates inform investors in deciding which investment to buy, retain or sell. Now it is. The people are making the investment in capital market. Earlier, investments were made only in the form of gold or land or building, real estate like that. But nowadays, more and more people are investing in capital market in the form of shares. So before making the investment in shares, the investment investor wants to evaluate what is the performance of the company, which company's shares should be bought and which company's shares should be sold out and which company's shares should be retained. So every investors have to take the decision regarding to purchase the shares or sell the shares or to retain. These decisions will be taken only on the basis of accounting given by the company. So accounting is very important for the investors. Similarly, accounting information facilitates manager in making decisions relating to planning and controlling of operations. See here, the biggest user of accounting is the management. Management is the driver of the business. The management has to take so many decisions every day. Main functions of the management are planning and controlling. So this planning and controlling decision making can be done by the management only with the help of information and accounting will provide the information. So without information, management cannot be able to take the decisions regarding the planning and controlling of the operations. Next one is, it is also useful in two organizations in making decisions relating to allocation of scarce resources. See, the resources which are used, economic resources which are used in every business are scarce. They are not abundant. So a business will be successful only when it effectively utilizes all the resources. So by using accounting, a business can be able to effectively utilize the scarce resources. The resources are like capital is one of the resource, human labor is one of the resource, material is the resource, machinery is the resource. All these are the resources. Land is the resource. So a business will be successful when it effectively utilize all these resources. And the accounting will help the management in better utilizing the resources. Next one is, it facilitates lender to know the financial stability of the firm. Nowadays, most of the businesses are dependent on borrowing the money. So money has to be borrowed from the lenders. So before lending the money, the lenders will evaluate the performance of the company or financial strength of the company example a company requires a certain amount of fund the company wants to borrow the fund from the bank so when the business approaches the bank the banker will evaluate the performance and position of the business 
before extending the loan. So accounting will help the banker in evaluating the financial stability of the business. If the business is sound, financially stable, then only the banker will come forward to give the loan. So in this way, the lenders will also use accounting to find out whether the stability, the financial stability of the business. Next one, it facilitates supplier to make decisions of uh, supply only after analyzing the liquidity position of the business. See here, supplier. The supplier will supply the material to the business. So before supplying the material, the supplier wants to ensure that our money is safe. The liquidity of the position is good, then only the supplier will supply the goods. If the liquidity position is not good, no supplier will come forward to supply the goods. To check the liquidity, accounting will help. Without using accounting, we cannot know the liquidity position. So from supplier point of view also, again, liquidity is very important, which depends on accounting. Next one is government and other regulatory agencies utilize accounting information while deciding taxation policies, business practices, etc. Last but not the least, government and many regulatory agencies are there in every country. So government is also one of the stakeholders because government will impose taxes on the business. And the government has to make a number of policies, business practices, policies. For that purpose, the government requires accounting information of the business. So these points shows the importance and significance of accounting. Now the next topic is advantages of accounting. Many advantages of accounting are there. The first advantage is documentation. Everything is documented. That means the transactions which we are recording in the books should be supported by evidence like sales invoice. By seeing the sales invoice, we are writing the transactions. When payment is made, vouchers are made. Similarly, when amount is deposited in the bank, pain slips are there. So every transaction should be supported by evidence in the form of documents. So it's a proof that all the transactions which are taking place in the business is supported by documents. That's the advantage. Then second one is determining the net profit or net loss. Every business wants to find out whether the business has earned profit or incurred loss during a particular period of time. So without having the accounting system, we cannot be able to ascertain the profit or loss of the business. That's the advantage. Third one is reason for profit or loss. Suppose if the profit or loss is de increasing or decreasing, what may be the reason why the profits are decreasing? It may be account on account of decrease in sales or on account of increase in expenses. There may be reason no? why the profit or loss is changing from year to year. To find out the reason, again we need accounting. Next one is comparison of results. See. Every business wants to evaluate, evaluate the performance from one year to another year or from one business to another business. So comparison can be done only when we have the accounting. When we have the accounting, we can compare our own performance from one year to another year. Similarly, our own performance can be compared with our competitors with the help of accounting. The next one is determine financial position. Financial position means what is the net worth of the business? What is the intrinsic value of the business? How much are the assets and liabilities of the business? So to find out the worth, to find out the financial position, we need the accounting. So accounting will give the information regarding financial position. That is the advantage. Last one, monitors operations. See, one of the important function of the management is controlling the activities. So after planning, controlling. So all the operations can be controlled with the help of accounting. If you don't keep accounting, it will be difficult to control the operations, monitor the operations. So this point shows the advantages of accounting. Last topic is disadvantages of accounting. Remember, 
accounting will have definitely will have so many advantages but accounting will also suffer from some limitations the limitations are fails to provide certain information every information of the business will not be pro provided by accounting there may be some information which which are not disclosed in accounting this may happen secondly provide only historical data whatever had happened in the past that only will be recorded we will not record anything which is going to happen in future the management not only controls but has to plan about the future but future will not be recorded in accounting whatever past information is there that only will be recorded that is called it depends only on the historical data next one is ignore non monetary transactions we have seen the definitions of accounting in the definition of accounting we have studied that only monetary transactions will be recorded in the accounting non monetary events even if it is so important it will not be recorded only monetary transactions will be recorded then subjective provisions a number of provisions have to be made like provision for doubtful debts provision for taxation provision for decrease in the value of investment so many provisions have to be made and these provisions are subjective <clears throat> that means according to the judgment according to the estimation of the management so in that case we can say accounting is subjective depending on the uh, judgment of the management accountant last one not a strict science accounting is not a strict science just like uh, physics or chemistry like that accounting is a diluted science because it is based on principles laws rules but apart from that personal judgment is also applied a number of items are uh, i mean uh, calculated on the basis of the judgment estimation basis that these are some of the disadvantages of accounting in examination you will get a theory question regarding what is financial accounting what is the meaning definition or what is the nature of financial accounting explain the importance of financial accounting and what are the advantages and disadvantages of financial accounting this video i have explained so if you want the perfect knowledge watch the video once twice thrice definitely you can be able to understand the points whatever i am explaining so apart from this i have uploaded so many videos so frequently visit the playlist of my channel so many subjects videos i have uploaded financial accounting cost accounting corporate accounting management accounting and different forms of income tax then statistics computerized accounting business law business economics so many financial management investment management so many videos i have uploaded so frequently visit the playlist select your subject select the videos enhance your knowledge so if you are satisfied with my lecture give a like to the video share my channel in your group in your friend circle so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed give your comments and lastly by the super thanks which is given below my video inshallah we'll continue the next topic in the next video